aquariums, and water gardens, exotic tranquility. We welcome the plants and animals of the world into our homes and gardens. Yet some are deceptively dangerous house guests, invasive species, voracious predators and aggressive plants that escape or are carelessly released, threatening the diversity of life in aquatic ecosystems. They can cause a series of, of problems, um, including changes in fish communities, changes in the ecological uh, integrity of the lake, changes in water quality. They can take over habitat and uh, outcompete our native species for food sources. Even tropical species can thrive in our cold climate. Consider fanwort, a popular aquarium plant from South America. Just a fragment dropped in a lake can cause an infestation, overwhelming native plants, potentially destroying fish habitat. Or dreaded snakeheads, once prized pets, but now illegal to possess predatory invaders. They multiply quickly, eat ravenously, and can crawl over land from lake to lake. Even goldfish destroy native habitat if released. These and other invaders may also infect native species with new pathogens and diseases. So beware, never release or flush aquatic plants or animals into the natural environment. It's illegal and could have devastating ecological consequences. Better yet, consider purchasing native aquatic plants for your water gardens and aquariums. Remember, many of the non-native species that are commonly sold in water garden or aquarium stores could be invaders. To learn more about what to do with unwanted aquarium and water garden plants and animals, call the Invading Species Hotline or visit invadingspecies.com and help keep all our lakes great. This message is brought to you by the Government of Ontario and the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters, your partners in conserving Ontario's biodiversity.